What is up guys, today Apple released iOS 13.4.1 and this is a super important update so you definitely wanna stick around to hear what some of the changes are that we're seeing within this update. Now, you might also be wondering why is Apple releasing iOS 13.4.1 when we already saw beta testing for iOS 13.4.5 last week? Well, we'll talk about that later on in today's video. So let's get this software update installed onto our iPhone 11 Pro Max here, and we'll check out all of what's going on here in iOS 13.4.1. Before we get started though, make sure to hit that like button, get subscribed, and hit that notification bell button so you don't miss out on any future content, which includes tech news, product reviews, and more. So with that being said, let's get on into the video and check out what's new in iOS 13.4.1. Are you getting this really annoying spinning ball of death on your Apple computer? Yes, we have all been there, but I've actually been using a program called Clean My Mac X, and ever since I started using that program, I've never seen that ugly rainbow cursor again. Clean My Mac X allows you to clean up space on your hard drive, protect your Mac from malware, and speed up your device to work as it did on day one of purchase. There's also a ton of other features as well, so go check out the link down below for more info. Okay, so first things first, the official build number for this update, iOS 13.4.1, is 17E262, and the total update size for my iPhone 11 Pro Max is 4.82 gigabytes. So it's a pretty hefty update, considering we're just going from iOS 13.4 to iOS 13.4.1, but it does hold a lot of changes and we'll get into those right now. Now, specifically with the iPhone and iPad, there was an issue fixed where devices running iOS 13.4 could not participate in FaceTime calls with other devices running iOS 9.3.6 and earlier, or OS X El Capitan 10.11.6 and earlier. Obviously this applies to a super limited amount of people, but this is still something that Apple wanted to fix and that's present in this update of iOS 13.4.1. Now a major change that is both on the iPhone and iPad, whatever device you have there, is the Bluetooth bug. I was actually having this problem personally where I'd be walking around with a pair of headphones. It could be uh, Beats products, a third party product, um, like Master and Dynamic headphones with Bluetooth capabilities or even AirPods Pro and I'd be walking around and music would just stop. Any audio that was coming through those headphones would completely stop and I'd have to uh, hit the play button on my iPhone once again when I wanted to start uh, listening to music. So that was a pretty major issue just because it happened every 15 to 30 seconds. It was kind of off and on. The only thing that would fix it is completely restarting the device. And even then, maybe like a day or two later, it would come back. So I'm very thankful to have that Bluetooth issue fixed here in iOS 13.4.1. I'm going out without any uh, audio issues, Bluetooth issues, anything like that. So hopefully that stays the same here in iOS 13.4.1. But for the past hour, I've been using my device haven't had any issues so far. Now a major issue, something that we saw fixed in iOS 13.4.5, the first beta is a VPN encryption bug fix. So in the iOS 13.3.1 and iOS 13.4 updates, the VPNs were not able to encrypt your data going in and out of your device. So that basically makes the VPN uh, app itself that you may have installed on your phone a complete waste of time. If your data isn't being encrypted, it's not being protected fully by that VPN service. Now, Apple has corrected that in iOS 13.4.5 beta one, and now we're seeing that trickle down into iOS 13.4.1 here. So if you update to iOS 13.4.1, you're getting a major security update in the sense that your VPN can now encrypt data coming in and out of your device and that VPN will be fully working. Now this next change is specific to the iPad. Uh, the done button that you usually see in the top right hand corner when you're in edit mode, that basically moving apps around, that is now present uh, on iPads that have a physical home button. And you might be wondering why did Apple add that to iPads with a physical home button? You could just press the home button and you're done. Well, that is actually an update specific to mouse support. So when you're using a mouse, um, there's no way to access that home button easily. You'd have to just go and press it on your device and you'd have to, you know, take your hand off the mouse, press it, all of that jazz. But now you can actually do everything, you can control everything with your mouse. So you can just go up to the right-hand corner and you can press that done button um, and 
get out of that edit mode now in iOS 13.4.1. So that is just a uh, kind of furtherment of mouse support on iOS 13 here. Now, speaking of mouse support, mouse support has been enhanced. We already saw in iOS 13.4.5 beta one that mouse support was enhanced and mouse support is working a lot better on that update. That has trickled down into iOS 13.4.1 now. So I can tell you with iOS 13.4.5, I noticed that my Logitech MX Master 3 mouse was having a lot less jitters when scrolling up and down. So now we're actually getting a much better experience here on iOS 13.4.1. We already saw great mouse support in iOS 13.4. Apple is just expanding on that in iOS 13.4.1. So if you have a third party mouse that should be working a lot better for you guys. And uh, if there were any bugs that you were experiencing those should be quashed here in iOS 13.4.1. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about, the last fix is the flashlight in the control center wasn't working on the iPad Pro devices. I was actually having this issue, but I really didn't notice it that much. Someone pointed it out to me and I went and checked and I noticed I had that issue. But since I don't use uh, on the iPad Pro uh, my flash very much, um, this wasn't working in the iOS 13.4 update, but I never use it. But if you go into the control center now on iOS 13.4.1, you can now um, access the uh, basically flashlight through that and it will now work on your iPad Pro. Now let's move on to performance in iOS 13.4.1 because performance was really great in iOS 13.4. So far in our test, nothing has changed. Battery life is still good, CPU performance is still good, and graphics performance is still good. So if you want to update, you're not getting any degradation of performance going from iOS 13.4 to iOS 13.4.1. You're also not seeing any improvement, but that wasn't really to be expected. This is purely a bug uh, kind of update here to solve a lot of the bugs that we were seeing in iOS 13.4. Now, if you update to the first beta of iOS 13.4.5, you're seeing a little bit of performance boost there, but I just recommend waiting, staying on iOS 13.4.1. It's not worth the update to go up to 4.5 because the performance gains aren't that much. So obviously most of the changes that we are seeing within this update are pretty minor, but the major one that you guys should pay attention to is the VPN encryption bug fix. Not having your VPN app, being able to encrypt your data is just the same as not using the app in the first place. So if you're paying for a VPN service, it will work now instead of how it was not working in iOS 13.4. Now past that, there's always the question of why do we see iOS 13.4.1 after we already started beta testing iOS 13.4.5? The answer is actually really simple. iOS 13.4.1 is an update that needed to be pushed out right away. And it's looking like the development of iOS 13.4.5 is going to take a little while. So in the meantime, Apple wanted to correct some of the issues and get an update out for you guys to ensure that you have a good working device in the meantime. Also, a lot of the bug fixes and changes that we saw in today's update have already been seen in iOS 13.4.5. So this is a little bit of a trickle down effect and we'll likely be seeing more changes coming from iOS 13.4.5 if we have an update of iOS 13.4.2. So guys, that is the iOS 13.4.1 update. I highly recommend that you update unless of course you want to jailbreak. But if you guys are not into that sort of thing, the update is solid and you'll be fixing a lot of the, those bugs that we talked about today. So guys, thank you for all for watching today's video on iOS 13.4.1. Greatly appreciate all of your support. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment section down below. I'll be sure to be answering those as soon as possible. As I said, I do recommend this update. So if you have that question in the comment section down below, I will just answer you. Yes, you should update. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching today's video. If you want to stay up to date with any future updates or future content on the channel, definitely leave a like on the video. Also get subscribed and hit that notification bell button so you get updates as soon as those videos are released. So guys, thank you all for watching and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and have an awesome day today. This video is sponsored by Clean My Mac X. This program is all about saving you storage space, ensuring that you don't have any malware on your device, and speeding up your computer so that it never loses that fresh out of the box speed. So if you want to make sure your Mac is running like it did on day one, check the link down below and start using Clean My Mac X.